greetings from the uh, James Clark Maxwell Building of the University of Edinburgh, where we have the, the great honor of having the, the, the Nobel Laureate for 2013, Professor Peter Higgs, who will give us a, a, an address and some reminis reminiscences of, of, of his work. Thank you. Can I have a glass of water too? Ah, uh, that's the water. I'm, I'm afraid I shall help me push. Thank you. I'm greatly honoured by the invitation to address this ILC symposium. This invitation is a consequence of the announcement on the 4th of July 2012 of the discovery by the ATLAS and CMS experiments at CERN of a new spin zero particle, the possible existence of which was first noted by me in 1964. If such a particle were unique, then, according to my paper of 1966, it would interact with every other elementary particle in proportion to that particle's mass. This signature enabled the two experiments to recognize it with confidence, five standard deviations confidence. Since 2012, the LHC at CERN has been used to measure the properties of the Higgs boson with more and more precision. Later this year, the high luminosity upgrade of the LHC will begin a 10-year program to reveal deviations from the predicted interactions of the boson, such as would be a consequence of the existence of more massive scalar bosons. Meanwhile, more ambitious theories, especially supersymmetry and supergravity theories, have been created with the objective of incorporating gravity into the gauge theory framework. And on the experimental side, the surprising oscillatory behavior of neutrinos uh, revealed by Kamiokande in Japan and also in Canada has made clear the incompleteness of the standard model of particle physics. Building a collider is a major engineering project which takes at least 10 years. So the next such machine, uh, which will, will be a so-called Higgs factory that generates an immense number of these particles, needs to be approved soon. There are currently four candidates, two linear, and two circular. With the proposed ILC, Japan is well placed to take the lead. Such a new scientific program may seem to be an economic burden, but this is outweighed by the stimulus to local industry provided by the building of the new machine and the institute to house it. I wish you all success.